Today I'm sharing 20 ways to decorate your kitchen counters. If you're like me, sometimes you get stumped when it comes to decorating the kitchen because you want it to be beautiful, but it needs to be functional. Today, we're gonna to start off by creating a multitude of centerpieces for a kitchen island. Now, if you don't have a kitchen island, that's not a problem. All of these centerpieces will work for a dining table too. The base of my centerpiece is a large marble Lazy Susan. I love using Lazy Susans and large trays. My reasoning is because it gives my centerpiece parameters and it also raises it up slightly from the counter. The first centerpiece that we're gonna start off with is this one right here. Again, I'm gonna start off with that large marble Lazy Susan. To the back, I'm going to add a tall urn. To the side, I created a beautiful floral arrangement in a crystal urn. Right here in the front, I'm going to be using a deviled egg tray. If you remember this tray, this was a thrifted find that we got at my thrift store. We gave it a little makeover and I'm utilizing it in so many different ways. I absolutely love it. Today, it's a base for my candle. I place my candle right on top. I also like to group my items in groupings of threes, fives, sevens, odd numbers. I think odd numbers look best. And then I also like to use varying heights. So I've got my tall piece, my middle piece, and my short candle in the front. The varying heights give your centerpiece dimension and a lot of interest. For our next centerpiece, we're going to be using a cookbook as a focal point. Now, I know you all have a cookbook out there that you love. This is one that I particularly love, and I'm going to use it as a center point to my centerpiece. So the first thing I did was I got a frame holder and I placed it on top of the Lazy Susan, and then I put my cookbook onto the frame holder. Everybody out there has their favorite recipe and a lot of times the recipes come with pictures just like this one. You can select a different cookbook for a different season or a holiday. You could even get out the recipe that you're using for that particular meal and you could display it for everyone to see. In the front, I placed a small dessert plate with a gold trim around the edge and placed a candle in the center. Our next centerpiece starts off with a beautiful floral arrangement. I chose some pretty pink flowers and I placed them in a gorgeous vase. To the side, I placed a small ginger jar and in the center, I added that same candle to provide a special warmth and glow. These first three centerpieces were really neutral, but you can customize them for different seasons and holidays. For instance, I created this centerpiece at Christmas time. I used a sleigh for my riser, which added my varying height. I added a variety of glass jars, which I filled with Epsom salt snow. I placed a Santa and some bottle brush trees into the glass jars. I tied the tops of the jars with pretty Christmas ribbon and added a joyful sign on the sleigh as well. For Valentine's, I created a pretty pink floral arrangement to go on my island. I used pink peonies and roses. I used this same tall urn and I also used a candle. For spring this year, I decided to go with a blue and white color scheme. So for this centerpiece, I used a large blue and white ginger jar. I removed the lid and I added in some tall dogwood branches. To the side, I placed a large glass egg. And then in the front, I put a ceramic bunny. This was a perfect centerpiece for spring. It had a bright pop of color. The tall flowers added a dramatic look and feel to the kitchen. Now that we have our kitchen centerpieces covered, we are going to move over to the sink area. Now this area is the workhorse of the kitchen. It is typically filled with all kinds of dirty dishes and rags. 
So you've got to think, how can I beautify this area? Well, I have a few ideas for you. I'm going to start off with a rectangular marble tray. This is such a pretty tray. It has a scallop detail on the edges and it's the perfect size. On top of my marble tray, I'm adding a monogrammed hand towel. And then to finish it all off, I'm placing a cut glass soap dispenser to the side. We only use soap in this area to wash hands, but if you wanted to, you could use some lotions as well. You could have several soap dispensers, lotion dispensers. You could use some hand sanitizer. You could place in your dish scrubbing brushes, all kinds of things. But this is an easy way to accessorize this area and make it feel a little more classy and upscale. Follow me this way and let's talk about how we can spruce up the stove area. I would say if you walked into a typical kitchen, you would find various small appliances out on the kitchen countertops which is great, especially if you use them on a daily basis, but I'm gonna give you a few other ideas that you can use besides small kitchen appliances to beautify this area of the kitchen. Our first display option begins with some marble cutting boards. I'm going to add a large round marble cutting board up against the backsplash. And then I took a smaller rectangular cutting board with a handle and placed it in front of the circular cutting board. This is a very neutral look. If you just wanted to add some detail without drawing a lot of attention to this space, this decor is a classic and beautiful way to do it. My second option is to take a more of a colorful or dramatic cutting board and place that against the backsplash. In front of this cutting board, I added a marble hexagonal cutting board one thing I like about using the more dramatic cutting boards is that again, you can switch them out for different holidays and seasons. If you have a bright, colorful kitchen, this is another way that you could add a pop of color to the space. Here's another option. I'm gonna start off with a rustic wooden tray and place that against the backsplash. You could definitely switch out a tray for a large wooden cutting board. That's a great alternative. Trays, cutting boards, those are great in this space. To the front of my rustic wooden tray, again, I'm gonna add a circular large marble cutting board. And then in front of that, I'm going to add that rectangular marble cutting board with the handle. I like layering pieces like this because it gives your display a lot of color, texture, and dimension. Other options that we can use in this area are plates or serving trays. So I'm going to start with a plate. This is just a plain white plate with a gold rim around the edge. I got a gold frame holder and I placed the plate on top of the frame holder. And then in the front, I added another white plate with a more detailed trim around the edge. Layering like items gives your display more detail and dimension than you would get if you simply used a single plate. You can get really creative in this area by using all kinds of kitchen dishware. I'm gonna swap out my plate for my pretty deviled egg plate, and then I'm going to add that plate to the front of the deviled egg tray. I love the look of the scalloped edges and the extra gold detail. If you have some pretty plates, china or silver platters, this area is a great place to display them. I personally like to use flower arrangements underneath my cabinets up against my backsplash. I think it adds some freshness and a bright pop of color for different holidays and seasons. Right now they're just white, but it's a great place to add color if you want to. So I created these pretty white flower arrangements. I placed these flowers inside of some kitchen bowls. 
These are just plain white everyday kitchen bowls. And then I placed it on top of a rectangular marble tray. These are small enough that they are out of the way and I can still use the majority of the countertop. And by simply adding or taking away flowers from these arrangements, you can customize them to different holidays and seasons. For instance, at Christmas time, I added in some white poinsettias, some gold holly berries, and some gold leaves. During Valentine's, I added in some pink flowers to theme it into that holiday. In the summer, you could add some bright color flowers. In the fall, you could add some leaves. It's an easy way to customize some arrangements for the changing seasons. Another thing that I see a lot on kitchen counters are cookie jars. And if you're smart, you'll fill them up with cookies. But <laughs> if you wanna be a little more health conscious, you can fill them up with some fruit. So what I've done with my cookie jar is I got some apples. The red apples add a pop of color. You could also add cuties, oranges, mangoes, pomegranates, any variety of fresh fruit or even artificial fruit would be perfect in these jars. Another item that I see a lot are flour and sugar jars. I found these beautiful jars at Home Goods, and they have this raised dot detail on them, which I think is just so pretty and very unique. I filled them with flour and sugar, and they are great for displaying. So if you can find some pretty glass jars to display your mundane, everyday cooking ingredients, this definitely makes them look special. Another tip I have for you is don't be afraid to decorate with food. I have done that so many times. I like to get pretty croissants or tarts or some kind of dessert and add them to a tiered tray. I use croissants in this display. I placed a glass cloche over the tiered tray and I think this looks so elegant. It could have come straight out of a French bistro and the best part is you could eat it when you're done. There are endless ways you can decorate your kitchen. We just touched the tip of the iceberg today with these 20 kitchen countertop ideas. We used functional kitchen items and displayed them in unique and beautiful ways. You don't need to go out and buy anything special or specific as kitchen decor. All you need to do is use the functional items you already have and just spruce them up a bit. I hope one of these kitchen display ideas worked for you today and you got some inspiration or some ideas that you can incorporate into your own kitchen. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.